Hello everybody and welcome to Astrology Coaching by Anatoly. Today we are going to speak about Saturn because on 23rd of October 2022 Saturn is getting direct. Of course, it will be stationary around 24 degrees, I think, yes, 24 degrees of Capricorn. So if you have any planets at 24 degrees of Capricorn, Cancer, you can check, um, you can expect some events. Of course, I just want to mention here that the Dasha period that you are in is very important. In Vedic astrology, everything is the Dasha period. It determines everything. The transits uh, does uh, the transit don't have such big influence. The Dasha determines what influence will have the transit. Of course, if you want to know more about Vedic astrology, you can check my book Vedic Astrology Easy and Simple, or you can check my online uh, course for beginners, Vedic Astrology for beginners. Uh, you can find the links below in the comments uh, or in the description of the video. Uh, if you want to learn Vedic Astrology, if you want to become to know about Vedic Astrology in order to fulfill your potential and fulfill your dreams, you can check my course. It's very practical. Uh, it's for beginners or people who are at the um, junior level. So, Saturn will become uh, direct on 23rd of, of October 2022 and now it's time for action. What is Saturn? Saturn is delay. Saturn is organization, construction, death and longevity. Saturn is hard working. Saturn is the servant. Uh, in Vedic astrology. Saturn um, rules the unprivileged people. Saturn rules the people who need help. It's the serving is Saturn. Uh, the values, the wisdom that comes from the life, not the wisdom from uh, that uh, wisdom of Jupiter from the books. This is the wisdom that comes in the real life. The, um, the, um, the, the wisdom that and the lessons that you have from living your life. So Saturn is this and Capricorn is again uh, is a sign that is ruled by um, uh, Saturn. It is related with work, with uh, hard working, with construction, constructions, organizations, delays. So this sign is a little bit heavy sign, economic, uh, government. It is a sign that uh, will make you to work hard to fulfill your dreams and there can be delay. Of course now Saturn will go from retrograde, it will go direct and now it's time to act. It's time for action now. In the past few months you have to prepare yourself, you have to recheck, reassess things that are related with Saturn in your life and the uh, houses that it rules and now it is time to start working hard to fulfill uh, your dreams and make them happen okay so now we are going to check uh, where is your where is your capricorn field in your capricorn house in your uh, chart according to your ascendant and um, according to your moon sign so um, you have to check your ascendant and your chandra Agna, which is, which is your moon sign you make the moon ascendant and check where is capricorn because there saturn will go direct and in this field, you have to work in order to fulfill your dreams and goals. So for, for all Aries people, Capricorn is in your 10th house. So now it is time to start working in order to want promotion, to, to go higher in your, in your uh, corporate ladder. So this is the best time to start to ask for promotion or to uh, start a new business or a new job in order to become um, more, to, to elevate your status in society. For people who are Taurus Ascendant, Saturn is in your ninth house. This is the house of your father, the house of uh, your religion, philosophy, education. So in this field, ninth house, it is time to work. For example, if you want to study something, go and start preparing or start studying it. If you have some problems with your teacher, with your father, now it's time to fix them. Now, of course, it is better when it's retrograde, but now it's time to work hard in this field in order to fulfill your dreams or traveling, for example. For Gemini Ascendant and Moon Sign, Saturn is in your 8th house, the house of death, transformation, psychology, a code. So, for example, if you want to start a new project related to psychology or a code or mysticism, it is the best time to start now. After 23rd of October, you have to prepare in the 
previous months and now you have to act, you have to work, you have to construct, you have to organize and work hard. No matter the delays, you have to be patient and you will uh, fulfill your goals. Uh, for Cancer Moon and Cancer Ascendant, Saturn will be retrograde. No, will be will be will become direct in Capricorn in your seventh house. This is the house of spouse, business partnership, now fame. So uh, now it will be a good time to start a new business relationship. It will be a good time to start new relationship too. But be careful because Saturn is a little bit heavy planet and there is a karmic relation here. So Saturn in seventh house gives lessons. Of course, if you have problems in your marriage, now it will be a great time. I don't think now in the, in the previous months you had to fix this um, uh, problems and now it is time to go forward and proceed with your life and uh, enjoy your marriage of course or people or new possibilities for marriage will appear for people with leo ascendant and moon sign saturn will be in your sixth direct in your sixth house new uh, new possibilities for work new possibilities for new health new diet new daily routine so this is a good time to um, start a new job this is a, or or to uh, or to have a different approach towards the job you have now you had to fix the problems till saturn was retrograde okay for virgo ascendant and moon saturn will be direct in your fifth house uh, it will be for this is a good time to start new investments new love uh, new romance although saturn is a heavy planet as i told you before so be careful uh, if you if you have children this is a good time to go forward in your relationship with your children i think it will be a better uh, in, while Saturn was retrograde, maybe you fixed the issues with your children and now you have a better relationship with your children. Uh, for Libra Ascendant and Moon, Saturn is uh, direct in your fourth house. So now if you want to buy a new apartment, new lands, new house, now is the time. You can go forward. If you want to start a home-based uh, uh, business, now is the moment. For Scorpio Ascendant and Moon sign, Saturn will be direct in your third house third house is related with your business so here it is good to start a new business it is good to proceed with your business in the previous months while saturn was retrograde you had to fix the problems now it's time to work hard uh, to have the courage to proceed and go forward be careful how you communicate if you have business related with communication now after 23rd of october everything will get better uh, for Sagittarius people, Saturn will be uh, direct in your tenth. I'm sorry, in your second house. This is the house of family, the house of savings. So now is the time to uh, act, to have more savings. If you have any projects, if you have something uh, related that needs hard work, constructions related with the second house, family, family values, resources. Now is the time to hard work, to work hard. And fulfill your dreams i have noticed that many times when big planets like jupiter saturn transit over the second house over the fourth house over the seventh house they bring family they bring um, marriage so this is a great possibility to have children to have family uh, for capricorn ascendant and moon of course saturn will go direct in your ascendant so now it's time to change your life just be careful if you have moon in Capricorn because this is a Sarasati period. I think now you feel better. If you want to know more about Sarasati, you can check my video about Sarasati. Um, now it's time to start working, start fulfilling your dreams and goals and change your life. For Ascendant Aquarius and Moon Aquarius, Saturn will go direct in your 12th house, which is the house of foreign lands, foreigners, other dimensions, dreams. Um, um, subconscious mind losses expenditure so now is a good time that if you had any issues with expenditure and losses now it will these issues will stop now you have to work you had to learn your lessons in the previous months and now you can fix now you can go forward if you want to go abroad now is the moment if you want to work uh, to have some work uh, from with foreigners or in foreign lands now is the moment to do that and for pisces ascendant saturn will be direct in your 
11th house, the house of money, income. So I expect people with Pisces Moon and Ascendant to have more money, to have more resources, more incomes, more influential people may come in your life now. Um, and uh, you, can, you have to take advantage of, of them. Of course, Saturn will be in Capricorn till January 2023, I think 17 or something like that. Um, Saturn will go in Aquarius and you can check my video about Saturn in Aquarius and you can get more information uh, what to expect. Uh, Saturn in Capricorn is a little bit more heavy sign so yeah you need to work. After that Saturn in Aquarius you need to communicate, you need to gather people, you need to uh, change society which is a lighter form of Saturn. Okay thank you for watching the video and see you soon. If you, of course, if you need a consultation, you can check my website www.astrology-coaching.com and I have a different consultation and we can discuss Saturn retrograde and all the things in your chart. Bye for now.